remote and hybrid work. You cannot have a conversation without remote and hybrid work. How people work, where they work, when they want to work, we're exploring. This is only three years old in earnest to understand how people will work most effectively. I will tell you, again, there's no right or wrong. We don't exactly know yet, and anyone who tells you they've figured it out is not totally being honest. We're very, very early. Early on in the pandemic, we saw that people were very, very productive because they had nothing else to do. You couldn't go to the movie theater, to the coffee shop, to the mall. You stayed at home, you hunkered down, and therefore people were very, very productive. All of the data tells us now that that's falling off. Productivity for people who are working remotely is not as high as it used to be. And in fact, we're seeing significant turnover. We can't keep those employees because they don't have a relationship. Funny thing is human beings like working around other human beings. They're not saying they want to come back to work Monday to Friday, nine to five, but they are saying increasingly that we do want to spend some time. So you're hearing hybrids. You're hearing people say, I'll come to the office three days a week, work remotely. I can assure you one thing, we're not going back to the way it used to be. There is a debate amongst the CEO community about whether or not work from home works. And I can tell you, it may or may not, but what we've got to do is figure out how to make it work. Because our employees are loud and clear that this idea of going back to a pre-pandemic way of working is not going to happen. That is globally, and you can insist it, and there are some organizations, that should be fair, there are some places where you have to work in place. You have to come into an office. I'm talking about where there is the luxury, the opportunity to work remotely. We're saying that hybrid is the way to go. I will caution you, though, there's good and there's bad to this whole concept of working remotely. We have normalized it, and I know that around the world, you all are doing it. It's absolutely one of the biggest perks of the, the employee workforce of now. Everyone wants to work remotely. It's amazing when one in five employees in the, in the MENA region, particularly in the UAE, Middle East, are saying, I absolutely only want to work for jobs that are fully remote. That's the stat. And so therefore, you can't ignore it. That being said, I want to tell you what we are globally seeing right now as a trend, and it's a concern. The Wall Street Journal wrote an interesting article just recently around the, the period when nothing gets done, and they call it the workday dead zone. And we have to be concerned about that as business leaders.